The repair presented in this video is performed on a particular frame style. The look of the console or the cosmetic plastics is irrelevant to how this repair is made as long as your machine's frame style is closely similar to that shown in this video. Be sure to unplug your machine before attempting this repair and do not use power tools to make the repair. To access the drive belt on a bike, you will need to remove a number of components. Remove the crank bolt cover on the left hand crank arm. It just pops off. Now, using a socket wrench, remove the crank bolt. Then, using a crank arm puller, remove the left hand crank arm from the axle. Thread the outer barrel of the crank arm puller into the crank arm as far as it will go. Do this carefully. You are more likely to strip or damage the threads of the crank arm or the puller if you do not have the tool fully engaged. Turn the handle into the crank puller barrel. The center pin will push into the axle and the crank arm will be pulled free from the axle. Once the crank arm is removed, unthread the puller from it. Now follow the same steps to remove the right hand crank arm. Using a flathead screwdriver with a thin top, pop off the shield cover and slide it up the upright. Then remove the screws holding the side shields together and remove both side shields. Now you will loosen tension on the drive belt by loosening the adjustment bolt on the side of the Edimec idler bracket and then the idler bolt on the bottom of the bracket. With the old drive belt loosened, you can just walk it off the crank pulley. Take the tension off the resistance cable by pressing down on the part of the eddy mechanism shown here using a flat head screwdriver. This will loosen the cable allowing you to pull it off the resistance motor. Loosen the lock nut on the axle of the eddy mechanism enough that you can pull the eddy mech from the idler bracket. This allows you to pull the old drive belt completely off the bike. Place the new drive belt into the idler eddy mech bracket and return the eddy mech to its proper place. If your model of eddy mech has a bolt or screw on the left side that pins it to the bracket, then replace it as well. Now make sure to fully tighten the lock nut on the eddy mech's axle. Return the resistance cable to the resistance motor. Using a flathead screwdriver, hold down the top end of the resistance cable where it connects to the eddy mech. This will release the tension on the cable enough for you to replace the other end of the cable back on the resistance motor. Now route the new drive belt around the pulley on the eddy mech axle and the idler roller and walk it onto the crank pulley. Return the new drive belt to its proper tension by tightening up the idler bolt and then fully tightening the adjustment bolt. Now reattach the plastics that house the crank pulley but in reverse order. The left and right hand side shields, and then slide the top shield cover back down the upright and snap it into place over the side shields. Now reattach the right and left hand crank arms and crank bolt covers. Once everything is in place, pedal your bike slowly to make sure everything is working properly. Place a non-slip mat beneath the bike to protect the floor or carpet. You can purchase one of these by calling the number on your owner's manual. 